Hello, 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 my fine friends. How the hell are you doing? Welcome to Hump Day. Not not with me, but in general. Halfway through the week. How y'all doing? You're with your boy Cam from the beautiful Vancouver, Canada. We're live in your home, on your phone, on your tablet, or your TV, sharing the joy of games with you as we do every two nights. And this night, we are on episode eight of our Assassin's Creed Syndicate playthrough. And this is just something I look forward to at this point. This has been a joy to play for me. I share the joy of games. This game is sharing joy with me. Um, we're just making our way. It's, it's fun to level up. It's fun to go after the side missions. This is just fun to be a part of. And I'm glad you're here, part of it as well. So, we ended last episode. We got a bunch of stuff done. We did, uh, got a bunch of side quests done. Our focus right now is to level up. Right? We want to level up. Um, so that we can start taking out other areas of London. There's two more main areas, I think, and both of them require at least level 8 and 9 or 7 and 9 or something like that. So we're getting there. That's why we're doing all these other missions and stuff and, and trying to get more money and, and all that. All right, here we go. Back in London. Back at it with the white vans. There we are. Oh, perfect. We're at a guy where we can buy our stuff, like right now. There we go. I think we're all full anyway. So we only got 7k. I think we should hop back to the train and see if we can uh, pick up. Oh, oh, wow. We're tackling. Bitch. <laughs> you spill any shell in each your Yo, that's sick. I did see that. I just didn't have a chance to really dive into it just because we were trying to have dinner right before I was going to uh, go live here. That sounds really cool, man. Is it fun to drive? Okay. Now, for the record, we need to be level 8 to be over here in the Strand. That's what they want. It's level 8 and level 9, I'm willing to bet. Okay. Oh, we could do Hell's Bells, though. And the Berlin Specimen. We could fucking rock those. I think we should do that. But first, let's go to the train and get our money. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, where's our train at, though? Choo-choo! Oh, no Fight Club. We're good for Fight Club. Oh, there's our train. Oh, it's a train robbery. No, 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 no. Where's my train at? There's my choo-choo. Let's go. Whew. How's your week going, Stephanie? How you doing? Eventually trying to make a Hellcat grip build. It's a bit of pain. But it's better than two H-weeks here and there. I bet that runs pretty nicely, huh? Man, I was pretty... I enjoyed Carbon. Carbon was fun. It was really short. We banged that out in four streams. But it was... It was good. It was pretty darn good. I like some of the stuff they did with it. I came, I came away with a pretty positive uh, impression of it. Personally. All right. Just resting? Yeah, you deserve it, Seppi, for sure. <laughs> God knows you deserve it. <laughs> a letter for me. Always a letter for the for Jacob. None for Evie. I wonder why. To a 55 hundo. Very nice. I like. Now, with a 13k, what type of upgrades can we do? <laughs> hmm. Uh, training rooks. I can make these. Ooh, not bad. Rook riders. Eh. Uh, Rook Brutes, maybe. Poison the Well. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I don't really care about that. Eh, meh. This actually interests me, though, because that way it's less money to upgrade my shit. Or, um, buy shit. All, oh, shit, done. Everything else is going to cost less to upgrade, so that's a good investment, in my opinion. There we go. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> so we could... Eh, oh, these are also 4K, though. Well, we can do this one. Eh, I like to have a little bit of money in my pocket, though. It's shit. Okay. So I just need 400 more. Got it. So, yeah, so the car's got power, too. Car was really fun, though. I wish the cops were more involved. Box. Uh, I agree. Okay. I thought I now, we... Oh, not this one. My bad. I would like to go. Uh, can I fast travel close to this? Just because I need to 
get some of these lookouts. It's going to be a challenge, though, because it's higher levels. Hmm. Hold up. I can fast travel that. Fuck, let's go. Okay. I fast travel this? I can. I didn't know I already got these. Good for me. Good for me. All right, let's get this one here. Why not? I'm actually proud of myself. See, th like, back in episode three, when I was spending a lot of time doing all that shit, it was like... You know, I can see it being as not the most entertaining viewer or viewing, but it's paying off in dividends right now. Now I don't have to walk all the way across there. The time we spent then is saving us time now. Mr. Jacob Fry looking. Don't call me Ezio Auditore. Auditore de Frenze. I don't know how well I said that, but. Frenze. Frenze. I don't know. So, one more workday for me, and then a long weekend is in play. Um, that means Friday, we're probably going to sneak in a magical daytime stream. It's magical because they don't happen very often. And it might be a double stream day, just because the daytime, I might just do some, like, uh, most want free-for-all. And then we'll do our regularly scheduled one in the evening, like we always do. As a thought. It's a thought. So, we'll see. The Berlin special. Oh, it's Darwin. Oh, okay, cool. Do some Darwin shit. Okay, I can't see the thing that, that we're dropping, so I'm just gonna hope. It's just through the trees here. <laughs> oh, we would have clipped our head for sure. Collect income. Oh, your chest is empty. <laughs> so I got my money. Uh, after a long day, just come back to a game like this is just nice. And I was actually... Either I just edited or I will, like, I'll be posting the previous episode replay here very, very soon. There is a quickie in there I have to edit. We went flying. It was hilarious. So all I was going to do in most cases, he did most one where he did long pursuit to save time. Yeah, exactly, right? Oh, pretty flowers. Lift up a compass. Like a silver tika. What's up, Charles? How you doing? Ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong. I'm not talking about myself. Stop it. <laughs> All right. What is Darwin going to have us do here? Oh, it's raining. Blah. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. You What's depressed little you, man. <laughs> I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. That's true, Lately, he was totally like however, that. However, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Uh -oh. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me with Staric Syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. <laughs> my brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. There we go. He's such a happy man now. What do you know of bones? Of bones? I know how much pressure it takes to shatter, snap, or splinter one. Yes. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. Please, yes. A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz, sent me a telegram. Okay. He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. So we're going to have to help him out. Would you ensure no harm <clears throat> comes to him? I'll bring Dr. Schwartz and that fossil to you, Mr. Darwin. Splendid. But please do be careful. Of course. That's, we, we're always careful. May the Schwartz be with you. Cross, please. <laughs> I wonder, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was fairly normal for Darwin to consistently get physical threats. Based on his research and his opinions. And the fact that he was willing to debate. And some people probably couldn't debate with him because they weren't good at debating. Not because they were necessarily wrong. Just their ability to debate and present their facts were crap. And this dude was a freaking pro. 
I mean, sure, it was fucking Darwin, man. Like, jeez. It's like trying to play one-on-one -on -one Michael Jordan in basketball. Like, you're trying to do that with, with Buddy to debate. Like, just... Oh, that's just stuff. Shit. Shit. Watch it, you bloody ingrate. Something is going on. Dude, I am just not I, I what am I doing? <laughs> so I have to kidnap him? No, that's not happening. We're gonna have to fight everybody. I hate these kidnapping missions, I just never can do it. Okay. What is going on up here? Are people fighting? Oh, how is your father? By which I mean my dear brother Frank, with whom I grew up, of course. Of course. Oh, splendid! Wonderful to hear! I'll do my best not to call attention to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me. Okay, I just hope we're not gonna run into anybody. Why is she like? Why are you running? <laughs> That's that meme. Why are you running? Is something happening? No, we're just walking together. Please. Bitch, get out of my way! Sheesh. See, I guess he kind of gets it. Dude, I'm surprised I actually did it. Oh, fuck off! That sucks. Oh, my bad. Like that, huh? Well, there goes that. Oh, shit. Miss me. That? Okay. You're not intimidating, sir. See, I almost got out. I was like, hey, I actually got through the mission without fighting. There's probably players who, like, have the time to watch every fucking move. It's like, for me, it's like, nah, man, I just want to get there. And I'll try to do all the mission objectives, but if there's too much of a pain in the ass, it's like, no. And here's the example. I got, like, right to the edge and then... Some guy random is like, bah, and it's over. I lost that objective. Dude, kidnap. Well, let me kidnap him. Oh, these assholes. I can't loot him. There we go. No, I'm trying to kidnap you, bro. Let's go. Peace. Like, there's no way I could have avoided that. <laughs> Dr. Schwartz? Never got on the train. Oh, no! Where's the asshole? Poor Dr. Schwartz. Okay, where is this asshole going to, man? Where are you at, brother? Yo, he's on a cart. He's moving. There he is. Hey, asshole. That was a dick move, bro. Straight dick move. I'm coming for you. I was not impressed by that. Oh, 
Oh, wow. He just went through everybody. Oh, yeah, he got out. Do you not see how dangerous? I'll run you off the road. Bitch, what? Oh, my God. I'm so fucking mad right now. I'm so fucking mad right now. Like, he got off of one just to get to another. Oh, I got fucking played. Oh, I'm so annoyed by that. Like, he's so far ahead of me right now. I can't get through. Fuck. I'm so mad. I'm gonna whip the shit out of this horse right now. There he is. This poor horse, man. Like, there's no way this horse would survive this normally. I'm coming for ya. What? No, we're not. There's no way my horse can actually fucking handle it. Asshole. Ah, that was so frustrating. I'm glad we got it though. Now to take this fossil to Darwin. Okay. That's it, girl. Whew. Once again, the one uh, annoying thing is I can't choose when I can use my L, like my L1 um, zip line. It only shows up in certain scenarios. Like right now, it'd be sweet if I could just use it. So I wonder if Buddy's uh, dip friend is probably dead, right? Unfortunately, they killed Dr. Schwartz, but we got the fossil. Last, my heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it? Wonderful. But where is Dr. Schwartz? Sorry, brother. Most likely dead, I'm afraid. He never left Germany. At least I managed to get the fossil back. Right. Dear Lord, I should tell you, I was recently approached by men who sought to purchase all my research on the condition I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot be bought. It belongs to everyone. Let these villains do their worst. <laughs> well, hopefully, uh, you're not the next one losing this fossil. Remain undetected? That It feels like that was impossible. There was no way I was going to get out of there. I feel cheated by that one. Hello, Elizabeth. How are ya? Good to see ya. How's your Wednesday? Okay. Front one. There we go. Sir, are you okay, guys? Oh, oh, there you Okay, yeah. Glitch in the Matrix. Okay, we're good. Hey, I did stealth really well, Stephanie. I got to the very edge of the door, and then the game's like, oh shit, Kems almost did it. <laughs> it just dumped on me. <laughs> Those kidnap missions, it's like impossible for me. Wait, I have money now. I can gang upgrade, and now we can do uh, this one. Aha. Perfect. Now we got our bombs discounted. Nice. Oh, that's what you meant, Stephanie? Okay, got you. <laughs> Yeah, it just doesn't uh, work out for me. Mr. Dickens, fancy me you here. Here for a drink. 
Oh, is that Mr. Dickens? It's not. Hell's Bells? ACDC? Where are you? There's been a spate of rather intriguing thefts about town recently. Robberies? In London? I never thought I'd see the day. Right? They look like common robberies at first, but these perpetrators have all claimed to have been totally the influence of some supernatural power. Totally. I'm not so foolish as to forget that criminals will spin any yarn to avoid the law. However, these thieves all proffer the same defense. They say they were being controlled by a demon. Will that you make doesn't some hold up a court, though. One of our demon-possessed mobsmen is being held behind bars at this very moment. You may want to begin your search there. L.A. Noir? Is, are, are we popping back to L.A. Noir here? <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to the... the guys. <sighs> I'm sure glad it's not raining like this it, where I live right now. Huh? Just a nice day for us here. Oh, it's upstairs, huh? They're popping the window. Oh, I hear a treasure chest. There we are. I hope I don't get Jack for, like, stealing at the cop shop. He did call me a thief. It's up top still? Hold on, is there... There's gotta be another... Excuse me, sir. Ah, here we are. What's this? Kidnap? Why would I kidnap him? It was a lovely day today, wasn't it? It was really nice. Not too hot. Not too cold. It was just really on point, right? What's this one in for? Huh? Rub the pawnbrokers down the road. A demon made me do it. I can't remember much. That's what's so queer. I've never stolen anything in my life before. Who do you think made you do this? All I can recall is a silver watch swinging in midair. It was held by someone or something. Okay. A dark presence whispering. I could only see its eyes. A demon. Maybe the shopkeeper will make more sense. All right, let's go question the shopkeeper. Oh, it was nice where you're at too, Vengeful. Awesome. Yeah, it's starting to get to that... It's almost the warm summer months now, right? Okay. Here we go. Let's see what the shopkeeper has to say. Oh, wow, it's 300 meters that way? Oh, shit. Can we sneak through here? No, we cannot. Aha. See, I should be able to L1 over there. It won't let me. There we go. Not quite what I wanted, but I'll take it. It'll do. Here we go. Climbing in the rain like this would suck. Okay, can I L1 over there? That'd be sweet. Nope. Oh, there. He's over there. There we go. Ah, that's what we want. Yeah, we're supposed to. It's supposed to get a little bit colder out here, but you know what? After my sunburn experience, I'm good. <laughs> you know. Need my 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 sunburn to tone down right about now. I see that one over there. No. Okay. I had tons of rain days. Tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah. That sounds like just perfect weather. Between 25 and 28, that's, like, really nice. Especially, like, 28, 29, you get, like, a little breeze. Soft breeze at the same time. It's just, like... Mm. That's where you just want to relax outside. Loud with some friends or family. Right? What's that sound? It sounds like a... Um, some type of little tinkle box or something. Tinkle box? Is that a th What is it? 
where you open it up and there's like the little ballerina. You know, what is that? What are those called? I have a big brain fart right now. It's not like one of those things, if that makes any sense. Although, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. <laughs> Yo, he's inside? You have to go around the other way. Oh my gosh. That's annoying. Ah, what the hell? Okay, we'll just go over top, I think, right? Yes? No? Ah, haha. Didn't show that there's a way through. Here we are. Especially next Saturday. There's gonna be a car meet. Oh, sweet. Nice. Yeah, it's that time of year, too, isn't it? May I ask you about the robbery? There's not much to say. Most of the items did come from the same seller, Enzio Capelli, Sorcerer mm. Supreme, a famous showman from Italy. Several weeks Sorcerer ago, Supreme? Upon his family that man's not Doctor Strange. Debts. I have the address of the last person who redeemed something of his. A lovely pearl necklace. That helpful? Not again. Stop her. Stop. Somebody oh. stop that thief. Kate. Kate. <laughs> Yo, she's got fucking jets! This chick can run! Holy shit! Especially in that dress, are you kidding me? Yo! Hussein Bolt, like, step aside! You ain't got nothing on this chick! Holy shit! She's gone! She played for an NFL team? Like, what the hell? I barely catch this chick! She is booking! Like, Jacob, bro, you gotta step your game up here. Oh, there, she slowed down. Woo! Wait, I think I heard so where am I? What's happening? You were just indulging in a little light theft. It's all very hazy, but I remember something silver flashing in front of my eyes. Okay. Then I heard a sort of bell. Next thing I know, I'm here with you. Back on track. Now to find this buyer. Are we going to give the thing back to Buddy? <laughs> well, whatever demon it is there, it, it gives people super speed. Holy shit, man. <laughs> that was crazy. I saw the game noticeably slowed her down, though, right before I caught her. She went from supersonic squirrel speed to, like, just normal person speed. So, it's like, okay. I guess you have to get to a certain point. All right. Oh shit! Are they dancing? Let's not Probably be so not. hasty this time. There's the bell. I heard that little bell. Oh. Ah shit. Well, that didn't go well. Now I have to tackle that thief. What? Wait. Oh, it was the chick. Oh, no. I got fucking sweat. I got confused which one was the thief and which one wasn't. I thought it was the guy. I lost her. Wait, is that it? No, that's not it. Dude, I don't even know where the thief is. Thief is gone, gone. Like, th I thought that was the guy. Can I start this over again? Like, dude, we just lost the thief completely. Okay, hold on, I need the map. Can I just start the mission over? That sucks. Just reload from the last checkpoint. There we go. Because it's one thing I find every once in a while, the game kind of glitches up where the missions kind of glitch out a little bit. Like, I should have failed the mission after... Um, I lost what's her nuts, you know? Because I was waiting for the wrong guy. 
Oh, I totally got slipped, man. I got juked hard. I had no shot. <clears throat> I'll never be able to show my assassin face around my assassin friends ever again. <laughs> Especially not Eevee. Can't tell Eevee. Okay. There we go. So you notice how the icon's there where it wasn't there before? Excuse me? Okay, right here we go. But it, it's a guy this time. I am so confused. Shit, too close. There we go. Use the good old Nathan Drake angle. So maybe it was the guy just glitched out, probably. Just blend in with the people. Yeah, I was nowhere near this guy. Yeah, sing away, people. Nice. Woo! <laughs> this is great. All right. So let's see where this leads. What are you doing? Are you drunk? The light post is on. The horses in this game are like ironclad, man. They are like tanks. Like tanks. Like, what the hell was that? Wow. Were you gonna T-bone me, sir? No, I didn't want to do that. Fuck. Ah. Uh. I was just trying to get off. That sucks. Oh well. At least we're able to do the mission. Hey, were you the guys on the Titanic? No, Titanic wouldn't happen for a good couple of decades. All right, mysterious man with the top hat and the moustache. Not a ghost, not a demon, but the great Enzio Capelli. You are very much mistaken, aren't you, my child? Yes, I am very much mistaken. What? Oh, wait. A hypnotist? No, I'm not. <laughs> you are very much mistaken. And now you are so very, very tired. No, I'm not. Are we? Yes, I'm very, very tired. Now, you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? There's no way this is working on us. We're like assassins, dude. There's no fucking way. <laughs> My goodness. What 
foul behavior. We're dancing? What's going on? Where the devil am I? <laughs> You've been arrested for theft. How very intriguing. Wow. I remember a damn thing. Let's get you out of here. I've pulled a few strings and they won't prosecute on account of your losing your mind. <laughs> Be free, little chicken. Is that we're doing the chicken dance? <laughs> no, that's bullshit. We climbed on the same car. We got the game cheated us again, bro. At least one of those we got. Angry Kim is angry. <laughs> what the hell? That's it? Like what I, I wanna get revenge on that motherfucker. There's no way. What? Recollection. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Let's go. Well, dude, I'm just I'm so angry, but I want to fucking kill that guy. But if that guy's able to do that to us, what will, like, really strong Templars be able to do? You know what I mean? Kind of puts a question mark over how effective Jacob is. So, we haven't conquered Westminster yet. It's level 9. We're level 7. That was crazy weird, though. Like, he didn't even need to prep. He just pulled out the clock. He's like, you're going to follow my instructions. It's like, what? That son of a bitch. Let's get him. I hope this is it. Because this memory is called recollection. So I'm hoping we can recollect what the flip happened. Go after that son of a submariner. Right, Charles Dickens or Charles Darwin. Collection of the events that landed you in a cell. I remember what the other victims remember: a silver watch, the sound of a bell, and a sort of shadow. A glint of silver and a tolling bell. Okay, Stephanie, thanks so much for hanging out. Have a great sleep. We'll see you later. What? Yeah. I am so very, very tired. Is that a trigger? Now you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? Now I, I'm going to do a little job of work for you. A job of work? <laughs> You've cost me a bit of money, mate. So I think it's only fair that you replenish my coffers with donations from the good people of London. Yo, his accent's gone. What the fuck? You will steal money for me, won't you? Yes, I will steal money for you. And no one in the park sees this? Yo, we actually gotta do it? Uh, that sucks. Alright, rich citizen. Come hither. You have funds. I wish to pilfer from you. Oh wow, they're like behind. These are supposed to be rich citizens and she had five pounds on her. Are you fucking kidding me? She broke as shit, man. What? I went to jail for stealing five pounds? Bruh. Like, that's not worth it. There's no way that's worth it. Oh, there's a cop right here. 
You better have more than five bucks on you, bro. The cop did fuck all. <laughs> That's great. So I'm going to jail over 15, dealing pickpocketing 15 pounds. That's tough, man. <laughs> if that's all that guy lost, and whoop, here we go, and got him. He called me a dolja. Get away from me, you dolja. Yes, I will steal money for you. Haha, <laughs> yo, I still was able to tackle the other thief while I am a thief myself. That's hilarious. Good. The irony. Very good. Now, we can't have criminals like you roaming the streets. You will surrender to the police, won't you? Wow, this guy's dirty. Yes, I will surrender to the police. Oh, <laughs> and when you do, you're going to do a silly little dance for them. No way. That's insult to injury. We're, he makes us steal, turn ourselves in, and do the chicken dance while we're doing it. You gave me a terrible fright, muttering about a man named Ezio. Ezio? Okay. Enzio Capelli, not a demon, Enzio. but a hypnotist. And he's not even Italian. Haha, <laughs> no he's not. Let's get that fucker. I suspected hypnotism from the very start. Did you now? You must find the villain. Bet your ass I will. Better late than never, Elizabeth. <laughs> I know when uh, Stephanie watches the replay, she'll catch it. If she if she's gone by now. All right, let's get this fraud. Make me do a chicken dance in front of the cops. Make me look like a two-bit assassin. Nah, you're going down, brother. We're coming for that. Cannot be unpunished. This like this one legitimately makes me angry at this guy. Like what a fuckhead, man. Oh hi. Hey. There we go. Why do you just make us give it give him all of our money? You know. All right, brother. Now that. Uh Hey, what's up? Yo, he's getting both of them. I wait for these guys to go away. Stop moving. No, did not mean to do that. But since he's going on this side. Beat no. Yes, run. That will work. We're going, brother. Huh? I'm a hypnotist. I am dead certain I'm faster than you. No, I did. 
That's insult to injury, man. Fuck. Chicken and cucumber? That's not like a nice little dinner. Mushrooms are Nami too. I like mushrooms. So I dodged the bullet and it hit him and killed him. That's kind of badass. Kind of annoying. But pretty badass. Now, I should have tried to uh, kidnap him before we got in the house. That was my mistake. Now I know what's up. We're going to try and get it beforehand. Let's see if we can do that. See if we can do that. Ah, oh, shit. He's already there. Okay, well, I'm just going to kill this guy right off the bat. We mustn't allow anyone to get near Mr. Capelli. Ah, shit. You, you are very much mistaken. Oh my god, this is actually becoming a fucking annoying thing. Like, he's yes, surrounded by people. Yeah, no, I'm not. Keep an eye out. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, why are you even here? This mission is now becoming very frustrating. Fucker. <laughs> really? Who the fuck are you? Are you cops? They're cops. Like, I am just trying to do a mission. Everyone's just fucking coming in on this. It's like the end of WrestleMania 40 where everyone just fucking got into the match. Like, he is surrounded by a lot of these people, bro. I hope they don't keep regenerating, because... I am very much mistaken. Ugh. Like, he runs down to do the hypnosis oh, shit. Wait. No, I'm not. I cannot wait to fucking... Oh, get this guy, man. Two. Just two left. Okay. Is there someone else in the house? No, just a mouse in the house, brother. Money. Well, it looks like I'm going to get mine. Right here. 
He came running after me, man. <laughs> Shit, he's coming down. You know I'm coming for you. Uh... I'd like to speak with you, sir. Yeah, I bet you would. Coming for that ass. Not in the way you. <laughs> Dude, he's just sitting there. I can't do anything right now. Unless. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, brother. He's fucking ru Oh my god. Get up there! What the- What are you doing? Oh my god, he won't go! So annoyed right now. But at least no one should kill him. Don't you dare, cops. Don't you dare. Come here, asshole. You want to let me go, don't you? I admit it. I'm not Italian. It was just for my act. Nobody wanted to see a British hypnotist. Now, shut up. I'll give you anything you want. I want you to shut your mouth. There we go. Do you know a Dr. John Elliotson? Never heard of the man. Did you really think mesmerism would work? How dare you! I'm a hypnotist! I hope it, we don't trigger these cops. I'll be so pissed if we do. Nothing to see here, officers. Nothing to see here at all. So, any new recliner? Oh, nice! You got a new recliner? That'll be comfy. Yeah, <laughs> don't lean too far forward. This guy's only a level one. Get in. My body doesn't bend that way. <laughs> Mistake me for someone who gives a shit, buddy. Now, usually when we kidnap someone, like people chase us. But so far, if we just have to deliver them to cops, I'm good with it. Ugh. Horses don't uh, handle very well. <laughs> Bro, why are you so slow? Ah! At least I got got out of the way. There we go. Nice, more wide open roads. Just how I like it. I am, I'm definitely going to be happy to turn this asshole in, man. I, ugh, that was such a, that was a bit of a frustrating mission. He got us a bunch of times, too. Whoa, hold up, my bad. Beep, beep. Excuse me, pardon me. Don't mind me. Sorry, officers. Hold up. So do I leave him in there or what? Do oh, I still have to deliver. Yo, please don't tell me that this is glitched. Not again. Okay, here we go. So we have to walk him in this time, not just reach a certain area. Got him. Time to confess and free the people under your silly spell. Oh, thank God. I wanted to kill the guy. I really did.
Charles Dickens missions are freaking weird, man. There we go. Whew. Okay, we got a couple skills here. Let's uh, do some upgrades. We have eight skill points we could use? Damn. Okay. Um, That's six. Regenerates health? That's actually pretty cool. Um, Maybe. What's this? Gunslinger? Driver? Let's get rid of all... Let's, let's do all these ones here. Let's just get them out of the way. There we go. Gunslinger. Attempting to shoot. Uh, that'll be. That's good. Doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it is a pain in the ass to try and um, reload when you're in the middle of battle manually. Level 7. Oh, we're level 8 now. Very nice. And we got 2 left, so let's just do this one here. Oh, it's a 4. Oh, shit. Okay. It's all good. All right, what's our next mission here, friends? I keep using the wrong button. Sheesh. There's another Charles Dickens mission. Oh, it's over here. Abominable mystery. Yes, yes. Let's go. Oh, there's one over here now, too. Oh, okay. Uh, suggest level six. What's the suggest level here? Five. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Uh, we do not have a fast travel, though. Ooh. Where are we? I don't know where I, oh, we're here, we're here. Okay. Let's just walk our way over then. Go for a little stroll. I think we should probably fill up some of our uh, throwables here. There's probably a, a shop on the way. I would hope there is anyway. If not, we're fucked. Really? You want to fight me? Actually, I do not want to fight them. These guys are like stupid hard. What the? I'm not hijacking the carriage. Shit. I'm not going after that. I'm going for the mission. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sir, 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 sir. Just the gentleman I'd like to see right now before our next mission. There we go. Refill all. That's a good deal. See, now that we've kind of got more gang uh, stuff, it's a lot cheaper to fill up our shit, which is great. Love to see it. So that's the way you walk when it rains and when the back is out, which is right now. So you get to enjoy the recliner than Elizabeth. That's awesome. No, oh, it's Darwin, not Dickens. Darwin. Okay. Got two Charleses we're working with here. Please don't be dark or rainy again. <laughs> Ah, my young friend. How good it is to see you. Fortunate, really. This is a nice it day. It would appear a highly toxic plant, which has the extraordinary effect of making people quite delirious, has been found in this very park. Oh, cool. Yet, as far as modern science is aware, no such plant exists. I fear the good people of London might be in danger. Will you investigate? Sure. Okay. Shoot and kill a Templar inside the flower's pollen. Not sure how we're going to do that, but hey. Why is there a letter thing in here? What? What's this? Memory item card? Royal correspondence. Oh. Cool. Oh, hold on. There's one over here. Oh. That's no ordinary plant. Yo, this is some trippy shit. I'm in an opium den. What's happening to me? All right, now we're good. So I just have to get there fast enough to shoot some of those dudes who are already in the smoke. <clears throat> there we go. Miss me.
You know what? I think I have to be inside the pollen myself to do that. I think, yeah, okay. I thought they just have to be in there, but. There you go. Some trippy dippy stuff here, guys. But hey, it's all natural. <laughs> okay, now I know what to do this time. These guys are having a rough time. There's so many people over here. Holy shit. There we go. Got it. night oh good night oh wait his buddy's like right there let's get rid of this no I don't want to do that <laughs> yeet oh this man's done It's not my fault, it's the pollen's fault. It makes people crazy. I don't know how it's happening. See, now we can actually claim insanity here. There we go. Footprints might lead me to the culprit. Okay. Of course. Ah, okay. Oh, well, at least he's not hard to find. How is this guy driving? How is he driving? Bro. I can't even, like, get close to him. No, get... Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. Some of these hijack missions are annoying. <laughs> Yo, did I just run over someone? Oh, shit. Are you going here, brother? Going that way? Stop it. Okay. Darwin will know what to do with this. Dude, like, how much flowers is in this thing? Like, this is ridiculous. We have, like, a fume of toxic gas. Almost instantly making people high behind us. It's insane. What is this shit? We're just knocking over everything. We're drunk as fuck right now. <laughs> Like rainbows, pretty colors. Move it, slow pokes. We got place to be, things to do. Okay. Just for you, sir. Oh. I have to take it to a safe place? Oh, great. 
Well done. But you you don't seem quite like yourself, if I may say so. Yeah. Hmm, it's just as I suspected. Those noxious fumes are not being released from the flowers, but from the pots. There must be something in there. An no hallucinogenic shit. concoction of some kind. Not unlike the soothing syrup, I should think. Man, even the 1800s, man, we people trying to get people high. And quickly. I believe, my young friend, that I might know just the place. Okay. Who would want to poison the population of London? Who could devise such a nefarious plan? Who, indeed. Obviously, it can't be Dr. Elliot. So who can it be? Templars. The same people I've been fighting since I arrived in London. Yeah. The same group Elliot's have worked for. I don't need to know more if you do not care to tell me. However, may I be so bold as to suggest that you continue to fight them? Ah. That's exactly what I aim to do, Mr. Darwin. Absolutely. Ah, shit. Here we go. The flower effect? I'm afraid, my young friend, that some of your enemies want their toxin returned to them. Might I suggest you position our carriage directly in front of theirs? I believe the fumes would impair their ability to drive. <laughs> They're just flying all over the place. This is great. Ow! That hurt. I'm just gonna keep going down the freaking road here. With our, we got our rainbow flower power here. Although it'd be easy for them to find us. I mean, it's like the rainbow freaking vapor trails of happiness. Done. Well done indeed. Now we must hurry and destroy our cargo. We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Flower all with the flower effect. Yeah, flowers for everybody. the hippie revolution before that became a thing everybody peace and love care bear stare yes <laughs> oh elizabeth you fucking nailed it that's great <laughs> except it's like the reverse care bear stare because it's coming out our, our back end here so <laughs> oh that was money good call Uh, I'd, I'd like to get out first, if I could. What about all these other people who are here? Like, all these people are gonna die. Well. Oh, dude, love, yes! <laughs> oh, dude, you, you guys are on point tonight. Everybody run. Everybody run. That guy's dead. He's so dead. Oh, God. That pepped him up. Uh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Both you guys nailed that. Freaking Care Bear staring dude love. Absolutely. Too bad. Oh, man. If I had known that shit ahead of time, I actually would have queued the Dude Love song. That would have been great. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, we ended up all the way fucking over places. I think there's one more. Is it Dickens or Darwin? It is... Uh, Darwin. Here we go. But we need to fast travel. Wow. I'd say this is the closest one here. Let's go. Oh, that one was starting to get a little annoying, but it was, it was still fun. Nonetheless. Freaking knock him out with flower power. <laughs> you love to see it. Yeah. Boop, boop. 
think we'll do one more mission with Jacob, then we'll switch over to Evie. I try and give e give each of them enough screen time, you know what I mean? A lot of love out there, you know, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another good quote, man. <laughs> There was a lot of love out uh, out there a few seconds ago. Yeah, laying it down in the streets of London, baby. Okay. Bop. All right, let's move on over. Here we go. Let's hope we can use our uh, zip line here to some positive effect. There we go, yep. Yeah. Best assassin invention ever. Imagine if I had that in like Assassin's Creed 1. That would just make that game so fucking. Oof. Be great. Ooh, pardon me, guys. It's been a long day, like I said. Oof. long day but a good one well like i said i mean it was productive but didn't feel like it was productive even though i got a lot done there we go yes please i wonder if this will be the last darwin mission maybe That's the one we wanted. So much easier with this thing. Whee! Defamation. Yeah, exactly, Spider-Man. Be a deer and fetch Darwin a newspaper. Oh, that's easy. My uh. young friend, today's papers carry a rebuttal of Mr. Owen's slanderous and ignorant remarks about my work. However, I'm feeling quite like a fossil today. <laughs> Would you be a deer and get me a copy of the newspaper? That's it? That's it. I feel like there's going to be more to this. What? What? What did I do? I didn't do fuck all. <laughs> we lost the revision. What happened? I don't have too many complaints about, about this game, but some of the missions being glitchy and shit, that happens more regularly than I'm comfortable with. You could have done that a little bit more testing, I think. Yes, yes, more testing. All right, let's... I told you it wasn't going to be easy. Go grab a newspaper. No problem. Eh, no, you lose. <laughs> like, what the fuck did I do, bro? Reach the street vendor. Take whatever you want. Help me! Hey, you! Okay. This guy's got jets, too. I wonder if I try and, like, yeet a throwing knife. Like, he's just so, like... The game... When the game wants to be fast, they are fast. So that's fine. We'll get him eventually. It's like, just how long is he going to make us run? Bro, you are a slow-ass climber, buddy. We're almost there. I'm going to get you. What the fuck? What the hell is that? Guys playing Ring Around the Rosie. Jesus, what the fuck? What is going on? 
I don't know what was going on there. Move it, kid. Why am I going slow? Like, dude. Okay, why am I not running? Run! I don't know what the fuck that was. What is going on here? What the fuck? I don't, I don't understand this. I'm so confused. We got carriages going nuts. Everyone's like losing their minds right now. Like, I just can't catch them. Holy shit! Was that it? That's why we had to get him. You saved my life. Yes. Now here's a question for you: Why would you attack a newsboy? A man paid me and my mates to force newsboys to display this leaflet. Who? Yeah, take the bloody thing and leave me alone. Okay. This is trouble for Mr. Darwin. Cruel character. Track down the source of anti darwin propaganda. Alright, who's the idiot? Uh, yeah, the carriages are crazy! I, like, I don't get it! People are going nuts! Nice, we got a skill point. So I feel like that's not the, the last Darwin uh, mission we have. There it is. Okay. And we fast travel right there. Beautiful. All right. While we're going to do that, guys, I'm just going to refill my drink here real quick while this is loading. Feel free to refill any drinks or snacks you guys got going on. We'll see you on the other side in just a moment. Appreciate you. All right, my friends. Thanks for your patience. Welcome back. Got our little drink refill ready to go. So I think we're going to be able to take care of Mr. Darwin. And like, is it actually help him? Xbox Live ran out today? Oh no, dude, that sucks. I don't even know when my PS Plus expires. I gotta be, I gotta pay attention to that shit. How you doing, Ezio? Great to see you, by the way. Wee. How's you and uh, the lady doing, my friend? All right, where's uh, Darwin's mission? Right there. Cool caricature. No, this this will not stand. We must do something. We will do something. Come on, there's gotta be a way through or around. Like, come on, man, don't do this to me. There we go. Took a while, but we found one. Oh, I knocked over the guy's broom. <laughs> Good. You're finally taking a break in the series. She's burned out. Yeah. That's what we're doing after this game. We're we're leaving this ass creed out for a cycle. Uh, we've been doing it for two years, man. It's always been in our streaming cycle for the last two years. It's crazy. And there's just a trailer. My buddy uh, Jacob let me know that there's a trailer for a new Assassin's Creed. Um, I have to check it out. Is it called? I think it's Assassin's Creed Shadow or something like that. It's like a four minute video or something. I have to check it out. We are not. Apes. If the circumstances were not so grave, I'd compliment the artist on the wonderful <laughs> caricature. <laughs> they are fools if they believe they can stop. Pro they are fools if they believe they can stop progress right. by printing leaflets and killing newsboys. Ooh, killing them. We must find out who is behind this propaganda before more innocents are harmed. Right. I should very much like it if you could find and remove these awful things. Sure, sounds good. That's easy Perhaps enough, Perhaps you can catch one of the bill posters red-handed. Hmm. Maybe. We probably will. But, yeah, I'm not going to, like, give up the, the series for good, Ezio. Uh, I'm just going to take it... Uh, uh, once we beat this one, uh, in the next rotation, when we add a game, we're not automatically just going to have the next Assassin's Creed in that spot. We're going to bring in another game for that spot, and then after we beat another game... 
you know, in a, you know, uh, then we'll put the next task back in there. That's kind of the idea. Watch the trailer at lunch. If you're right, you like where they're headed with it. Uh, if you're liking it, then I'm, I'm kind of feeling pretty f uh, positive about it then too. No, it doesn't. I'm going after some else. Guard those stairways all you want, sir. God created us in his image, and he does not look like a monkey. That's why I think about that. This is outrageous, I tell you. Outrageous. Time to go. Right, because Darwin was all about evolution. And of course, in a very religious uh, Christian society, they would not be uh, too welcoming of uh, his topics. Metal Gear Solid Five? I, I, you know what? I should do the Metal Gear Solid series. Um, I didn't do, I didn't play Five because I was upset that they they took away David Hayter as as the casting for for Snake. To me, David Hayter is like. The guy, and they kind of took took that away. So I kind of boycotted a little bit. Then on top of that, I learned what they did to Kojima, and they basically booted Kojima out. So I was like, Ugh. so I haven't played either uh, the intro. Oh, don't do this, sir. You just don't. You don't want to do this. Mister Level Seven, I'm a level eight. How do you like me now? Thank you. Now, where was I? Yeah, the last... Uh, but, but aside from Death Stranding, right? The last Kojima game I played was Metal Gear Solid 4. And that is the top... In the top two... Uh, in my... In my personal opinion, the top two fan service games ever made. Metal Gear Solid 4 and Uncharted 4. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, you're not going to do none of that. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4 was one of the best uh, fan service games ever, in my opinion. Every opportunity for Easter eggs, th uh, shoutouts, callbacks, everything it was amazing. But yeah, I, I think it maybe like had me tearing up at one point. Death Stranding built off Metal Gear Solid 5, kind of interesting. Uh, it, it worries me though, because Death Stranding's UI. Um, is giving me a little bit of a challenge. Um, so, we'll see. But I think that's a great suggestion, though, SEO. I, at some point, I do want to do the Metal Gear Solid series, for sure. I've, a, I've, uh, I've been a big fan of those, the, those games, for sure. Now, Metal Gear Solid 5 has two parts. There's like an intro and then the regular game, I think, right? Something like that. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Yeet. Fuck out of here. All right, let's deal with this. No, horsey, stop it, horsey! Fuck! <laughs> there we go. Got it. Okay, he treats it for a district. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So ground zero is set nine before. So ground zero is that's the one we would need to play first, right? Before Phantom Pain. Oh, those guys are throwing down. <laughs> 500? Oh, yeah. Got a long walk in front. Can I fast travel this shit? <laughs> Wait. Damn it, it doesn't tell me. It just tells me I have to go 500 kilometers or whatever. Oh, no, there it is. Ah. Okay, where's our closest fast travel? We probably can't do it in the middle of a mission, can we? Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Will it let us? 
It will not. Fast travels are turned off. It's right there. Okay. We are where? Where are we, bro? Hold up. It took us off the map. I hate that. Who does that shit? These guys haven't come off the map all day either. Ground Zero's controls are very different. I wonder why I did that. Well, I guess we're going for a walk, friends. Through the gardens of beautiful London, yes. Gotta work on their landscaping here, though. Someone's gotta clean up that shit. Hello, child. Alright, I would rather take the bridge. I think we're going to take uh, take this ride here. Speed up our, our move a little bit. Been down watch player Mario stuff for the first time. Dude, it will be me. I have not played it yet. Although I did download one of it. It was on PS Plus at one point. So I think I have either one or both of them. So it would be my very first time yeah, whenever I play it. So it's a good thing you got that follow turned on on Twitch, my friend. <laughs> I'll, when I do probably play it, it's probably gonna, I'm gonna post it on on the schedule too. I'll have it on the schedule. Still never played? Okay. Hmm. Oi, what are you doing over there? Whoa! Why did I stop? Oh, that guy. Oh, sir. We can't have you doing that, my guy. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, I killed him. I mean, well, sorry, I kind of ran him over, but whatever. Map. Secret sh uh, print shop in the sewers. Oh, wow, we can't have that. How far away is it? Not that far. Got it. Maybe I'll see if we can uh, expedite some of the Metal Gear Solid stuff. The thing is with that, I would have to start at the beginning, right? So that, that might add a little bit more time, I'm afraid. Because I haven't played any Metal Gear Solid in years. Years. So it would be fun to kind of go through it. It's very big, yeah. Aha. Oh, look. It's a hole in the ground. Who would have thought? Like, are we talking GTA 5 big, or... Nice. Aw, oh, an open door. They're inviting me in, basically, is what they're doing here. What's up, boys? Oh! And you're done. Damn. It's about three quarter, but fully open world. Gotcha. We found it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. There's no way I'm doing it all at the same time. I just want to eat shit. Uh, that should have gone boom. What the fuck happened there? Okay. We haven't used any of our darts yet. We gotta do that. We gotta do that. Fight it out, boys. Oh, don't do that. Let's call the headshots, though. That's awesome. Oh, shit! Uh, I was just trying to reload, but okay, that works. 
There we go. Well, that happened. <laughs> Metal Gear's always been linear, straightforward on where to go. Metal Gear Solid's kind of like, here's the map, a few missions, slow you want to do. I hope it's not too crazy open, because for someone like me, I do like... Uh, when a game tells a good story, I want to follow that story. I want to go through it. And if the game is good, then it's going to make me want to do the side missions. Kind of like this this game here, right? I'm cool doing the, the side missions on it. Because everything else is in place, and it's fun to do them, right? Open world games being open just for the sake of being open world, sometimes I find, like, it's like, okay, I got all this shit to do, but why? I, I don't want to lose... Uh, I don't want to lose sight of the plot and the character development all that shit, right? You know what I mean? There we go. Very Kojima style without him. That's probably just because he had a big hand in it before they let him go. Alright, got skill points. Some skillies to pay the billies. I can't believe I just said that. Ooh, uh. Okay. What do we got next here? More Darwin, man. We're just It's a Darwin episode tonight, my friends. We're just trying to level up. Struggle for existence. Unique materials. Dinosaur Talon. Where is our fast travel? There it is. Let's go. This has been all Darwin and, and Dickens. It's the double Ds. <laughs> Tenzin. <laughs> Absolutely. I caught myself on that shit, Tenzin. How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. <laughs> See, I like my, my my chat keeps me in check, man. They check me when I need to be checked. Okay, that I like. I do like that because I tend to be a guns blazing guy, but I will do stealth if it's fairly easy to to um pull off. It doesn't take a lot of time to do, you know. I enjoy some good stealth here and there. I like this game. I'm okay to do a little stealth every once in a while. Woo, zoom in. Doing good. Just, uh, some breakfast, catch up some reading. I'm doing all right, man. It's been, been a good day, long day, so I'm, I'm, I'm tired, but uh, it's been a positive day. For the most part. Like I said, I, I said earlier that uh, I was really productive today work-wise, but there's still so much, so it feels like I wasn't as productive as I really was. You know? Alright, Mr. Darwin, let's go talk. Level 6, we got this. The way you do it, you attempt stealth, but it's too complicated. Yeah, yeah, Ezio, absolutely. I, I treat Assassin's Creed like that, too. It's like, hey, they want me to do this, and I get extra points if I do it the way they want me to? Great, I'll try it. But if it's just too much of a pain in the ass, it's like, fuck it, let's just get this done. <laughs> oh, absolutely. No, you and me are definitely saying like that. I think a lot of people are like that too, you know? I don't want your freaking cargo. But I'll kill you just for fun. Yeet. See ya. Oh, they mad mad. See ya. Yeet. Where? Oh, that thing's going. It's like, dude, I don't care. I'm just going to see my friend Darwin over here. They're all scared for their lives and shit. I don't want to hug at... Yeah, good. I'm glad it's out of reach. I didn't want it in the first place. Struggle for existence. Working more than usual because of the added clients? Uh, it's not that I'm working more than usual. There's just some complications that have come up with uh, some of the clients. Uh, and, and some of the, the installs and stuff like that. It's... So, yeah. Rescue Darwin before it's too late. Okay, I think this is the last Darwin mission. Felt bad for my experience with Death Stranding last stream. Yeah, you know what? But that's that's part of it. And, and the reason why I do the Never Have I Ever Played series, it's just a raw. Has happened. A policeman arrested Mr. Darwin and carried him away as if he were nothing but a common criminal. Okay. That policeman. He is corrupt to the bones, I'm sure of it. Mm-hmm. I do so fear for Mr. Darwin's safety. Hmm. Miss Nightingale. Do you know where they might have gone? Uh, the policeman, he did mention a funeral. Uh-oh. I believe I know where it is. Okay, where? Follow me. 
Yeah. Well, Mr. Darwin has been through so much recently. Those people are trying to discredit a lifetime of work. It's disgraceful. And I fear Mr. Darwin is no longer the fit young man who once traveled the world. Yeah, that's pretty clear. Here we are. The obsequies are taking place here. Better okay. hurry now. You can find me here afterwards. Okay. So, this is uh, another kidnapping mission. Kidnapping this cop without being detected? Bro. <laughs> I will wait here. Anyway. But yeah, the Never Have I Ever Played series, like, it's a raw... It's basically go go, watching a reaction channel, but it's live action in real time. Right? So it's not... Uh, a lot of times if you watch reaction channels, like, well, they watch things beforehand. Uh, and they kind of think, like, this is straight up. <laughs> like, I can't edit this shit until the replay, you know what I mean? So... Um, that last battle was fucking crazy in de in our Death Stranding stream. It was like, what the fuck? Oh. And it, as I said, the reason why I'm still willing to stick with Death Stranding is because the strength of its narrative, the story, all the questions that I have coming out of it, you know? Like, it wants me to kidnap a cop among a million cops. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Is this honestly what it feels like when I arrest someone? Uh -huh. What do you want from me? Just need you to answer some questions. Can't get out here. Oh, you're a brash one, aren't you? It's been said. Yeah. See, I have to go past cops while I'm holding on to this cop. I, w I definitely panicked, man. I was like, what the fuck? And, and then that's where... The uh, the challenge of the UI made things a bit challenging, but now that I'm starting to get into more fights, the more I use that, hopefully I'll be I'll get more better at using them. So the panic will just be more about what the hell's going on there versus uh, I can't do anything. You know what I mean? There's an exit over here. Yes. I hope so. Like, dude. You're in for it now. Okay, yep. Time to go. Time to go. Did I kill him? Like, I was just trying to find a way out, though. Time to go. I mean, I escaped the cemetery. I have to locate him again? Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go. But yeah, with the rest of Death Surrounding, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, that's going to go like. Oh, that's a long way over. You play on hard knowing what's ahead. So you're yeah, playing, once you play once or twice, then you can kind of figure it out. But then, also, you lose some of the panic, I think, as well, right? And, because you know what to expect. <laughs> Move it. Yo, it just, it basically reset everything. Now, I think I just went too close to the cops trying to find out the other way. Oh, is this going to be a problem? There we go, got him. That's it! Oh, blast, not again! <laughs> In the name of the law! Dude, shut your fucking trap. So there's a way out of here. I just have to not get too close to these other cops. That's all. There, I think I found stairs. Here we go. It gets pretty nuts. See, that's what has me excited to, to try and stick through it. Right? That's what, that's what has me excited to try and stick through it. 
All right, ass hat. Uh oh. There better not be a couple cops on patrol come around that corner and and fucking get us, man. Like that'd be so frustrating. <laughs> For a little walk, hey officer. I was just carrying out my orders. Arresting an old man and dragging him off to Lord knows where is fine work indeed for a policeman. Now, sir, tell us where you have taken Mr. Darwin. Yes. A man paid me to bring him to his secret base. A secret base? We will need transportation. Okay, well, transportation, it, it, oh, it's only a single. Here we go, here's a double. Here we go. So long, Florence. Wow. That didn't take long. Stop it. Are they really chasing me? Yo, he actually hit me. I got sniped. You're gonna provide tips needed. Hey man, and I, I I appreciate any tips. You you always do a great job to uh, provide little you know pointers here and there without spoilers, and that's I appreciate that the most. So thank you. So now we gotta watch out for Florence. Let us find Mr. Darwin, shall we? I don't think that's safe. Shall we? Shit. So she just wants to go in fucking balls deep, guns blazing, huh? Okay. Templars. Well, Florence Nightingale gets to kind of see our handiwork freaking head on. Thank you for just walking next. Cause my aim was shit. That was garbage aim, man. Good old Florence Nightingale. Just hanging out, watching me shoot people in the face. How you doing, brother? Okay, how do I examine his condition? Oh, I have to circle. There we go. He's very weak. We shouldn't move Mr. Darwin until I've seen to his wounds. Okay. They're here! Attack! Super combo! Reload. Next. I'll have to pick him up. Okay. Let me get some uh, some ammo here. Any other ammo? Just in case. I'm pretty low, actually. Nice. Reload. Oh, I can't really reload, actually. Poor Darwin. At least his hat's staying on, like a proper gentleman. Darwin didn't uh, believe in creation, in the creationism, but he, I don't know how he felt about, oh, gravity. Bitch, I'm... Bop. 
I like how Florence is chilling watching me. Ooh, that was a nice kidney shot. Oh, yeah? Bop. See ya. Now, before we're rudely interrupted, your shit, boys. I don't know why I said it like that, but. Anything else I can loot from? Yep. Can I loot from you too? Yes, I can. Alright, Mr. Darwin, let's uh, continue on. Tally ho, Sally forth. Ch pip pip cheerio, all that. Alright, have a little nap. Sleep it off, brother. Rest up, Mr. Darwin. My sister and I will be along shortly. Alright. Now, is that the mission and we have another one? Or is this following up to a second part of the mission here? Let's find out. Like, this game is loaded with historical figures. It's crazy. Um, Darwin, well, Dickens, Florence Nightingale, Alexander Graham Bell. Worried about you, sir. Like, damn. Anything spry for a fossil, sir? A man's friends are the best measure of his worth. I'm proud Aww. to count you among mine. Aww. The dangers passes. No need to leave, sir. What Mr. Darwin needs now is rest. To that end, he's joining his family on the Isle of Wight. Rest, indeed. I shall start work on my next book. There you go. I insist that you recuperate quietly, sir. The acquisition <laughs> of knowledge is in itself sufficiently recuperative. Go tell her. This is one fight I am to avoid. Sir. Yeah, I ain't gonna fuck with Force Angel. <laughs> Thank you for everything, my friends. Ideas like people can only thrive when they are free. <laughs> Cheers to you, Mr. Darwin. Yeah, that sucks. I couldn't uh, get the... I probably could have actually did that. But... Oh, well. Defense civilian? Done. Gotcha, buddy. All right. It was a great speech there, wasn't it? Let's uh, have a look at some of the skills we got going on here. We have six available to us. That uses four. Hmm. Jacob's counter shots are automatic headshots, bro. I I think we're gonna go with this one though, because it regenerates health. Let's get it done. Let's do it. Whether you're a creationist or evolutionist or a little bit in between, aside from that part, Darwin did a lot of good stuff. Like he did like his work was you know, if you take the, the part where you dispute religion or, or not, whatever side you're on with, with that, put that to the side. All of Darwin's other, uh, all of his, oh God, his works are, are impressive. Absolutely. All right, I think switch over to Evie here. Let's do that. Now, she has nine skills available. Let's uh, upgrade them. So, we just upgraded this. So, we'll give her combat stamina, too. There. Now, she's level eight. Beautiful. Now. Knife Master. We're using a lot of throwing knives. I like that. Let's get it. I only have two skill points left after that? Shoot. We've done a lot of intimidation ones lately, so this actually really helped. So let's go with that. Perfect. So now that we're actually level 8, let's see if we can actually upgrade anything here.
No. Ooh, yes. Done. That looks pretty fucking cool. Oh my god. Damn. Okay, well, let's go back with our um, Ivory and Jade. That looks pretty sweet, too. That looks really cool. Upgrade preview, another 2-1. Let's just go uh, with, with this. There we go. Cool. Assassin Gauntlets. Can we upgrade these? So how do I craft it? It's like, I need level 4. Dude, we can actually... What? Oh, dude. There's some really good shit we can craft in here, though. Knight Terror King. Oh, we can't do that. We have to level 9. So we already have this. Care about that. I care about that. Cloak of the People. Done. There we go. Iron Death Gauntlet? Shit. Assassin Gauntlet. So we don't have the schematics for that. However. Mirage Gauntlet. See, this. Uh, like, it's level 4, but. Let's do it. We're just... This is some money well spent right here, I'm feeling. I'm getting that vibe. Firearms. We're low on cash, though. And the Thunder is, is pretty dope. So our current clope is... Clope. Our clope. <laughs> so we can get the Flame Silco. We just get 6k. Huh. I'm not losing Aveline. Right now, it just gives me too many uh, increases on my items. So, I want... Is it the cape that I want? It's the cape. The flame silk cloak. I want that. Dude, I did that a couple episodes ago. I bought this really good weapon. And I wasn't level 6. I was level 4 or something. I'm like, no! Okay, we need money. So, I think... Let's pop over to our... Um, hold on. Where's our, our, our train... Hideout. There it is. See if we can get some money so we can get that better cloak. Alright. Here we are playing as Katniss Everdeen. I will make this statement every single time I play as Eevee. She looks like Katniss Everdeen, man. She got like the little freckles. Savage in battle. Right? Just, she looks very similar to Jennifer Lawrence. I wonder if they kind of made her, at least her facial structures after Jennifer Lawrence. Because, damn. Only saw all the way to make money in this game is fast cash? What do you mean, like, like um, when you uh, hijack uh, cargo and shit like that? Because I've um, significantly increased the amount of cash I get. I'll show you in a few seconds. Seems this, a letter has come for Jacob. Always a letter for Jacob. None for Evie. 7,400, baby. We are set. We are set. So, yeah, uh, Ezio. Um, we got... I've almost maxed this out. Right? So we can get all this. Oh, okay, I don't think I've unlocked it yet. So, we've done a bunch of this stuff. Ooh, that money, though. Now, uh, crafting... Okay, where is the... Is this it? Oh, I can't do this. See, a legendary Sasuke. We're not level 9 yet. Baron Jordan's finally. <laughs> but I don't know if I want this, though. Okay, hold up, hold up. There we go. It was a cape, I think, right? Flame Silk Cloak. It's going to bring us up one and one. Done. go now there was some other shit we could um craft and it was 
upgrades. Here we go. I don't really care. I don't use them that often. But, I mean, sure, why not? There we go. Using that money. Don't know how far in the game you are. You can basically spam the interior in the 5k return. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Fuck it. We might as well do it, too. Why not? All right. I think we're pretty set as our girl, Evie, here. So. We've done all the Darwin missions. We've done all of the... Um... Dickens missions. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we haven't done all the Charles. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's fucking get it. This is the Double D episode. I'm telling you. Dickens and Darwin, man. Not the Double Ds you're thinking of. <laughs> but all this stuff is getting us um, skill points, right? So now when we're ready to move on to story missions... We'll be able to get that done. No, I appreciate that, Ezio. Thank you. We're Because we're at level 8 right now, but I, on the map you've seen, there's two areas I haven't done yet. So, that might give you an idea of where I'm at. When we started the stream, I think we were like 46% through the game. So... Okay, we are going to go here. Whee! Big girl jump. Pop. Alright, let's go see our friend Mr. Dickens, shall we? Not far enough for the game to get the activity or level 3? Okay, gotcha. Well, if I'm level 8 and I haven't got it, then definitely you at level 3 won't have it quite yet. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Terror of London. Alright. spring -Heel Jack returns. This guy caused us a problem, but last time we were under-leveled for him, though. Now I think we're, we're fucking set to take this dude out again. When we first fought him, I had to kind of cheese it. Not kind of, I totally cheesed it. Thank goodness you're here. Impossible yes. Impossible as it may sound, spring -Heel Jack. We need to do something before the unthinkable happens. I killed him, though. that we'd not seen the last of the spring Hilled villain. There may be more to this than we originally thought. Okay. Well, lead on, Mr. Dickens. Get away from me, you monster! Stop! <laughs> oh, that ass. What are you, Darkwing Duck? <laughs> I've done the tower of London. I am a ghost, performing the feats of a devil upon the earth. Long have I stalked the streets of London. Oh, shit. Don't touch the ground. <laughs> All right. No one is safe from my beastly claws. I am a ghost. A fiend. A terror in the night. This guy's annoying me. I want to get him so bad. <laughs> At least they made it in a way where it's like fucking annoying. Evie, what are you doing? You're annoying, brother, is what you are. No! 
I have no... Oh my god, this is so dumb. There it is. See, I wish I could control that better. Well, I kind of screwed up there. Is he taking us back to like where we fought him originally? Have I stole the streets of London? All right. Well, this might be DLC. Oh shit, maybe. Oh my god, this phasing bullshit is pissing me off. Oh. Can I shoot the motherfucker? Like, seriously, this is getting annoying. Okay, move, Evie. Jesus. Uh, if I lose him after this again, I'll be pissed. Damn it. I wonder if I actually have to be stealthy, that's why. Going, buddy. I am a ghost. Are you fucking kidding me? A terror in the night. I have to tackle. Oh my god! But all he does, like, how can I just shoot him? <gasps> I am the terror of London. Miss me, bitch. Like, he's just going to disappear, right? And he's going to go poof. Let's go! Oh, fuck off. Kill. Okay, here we go. This is so annoying. <sighs> We're so close. Really? Now it's, it's interesting. They're calling him Spring Heel Jack, as opposed to Jack the Ripper. We're all having some drinks. Well, thanks to you, the Ghost Club's reputation has grown tremendously. We are a beacon of reason in a world beguiled by superstition. There you go. But I believe we have encountered one genuine spirit. Can oh. you be certain? That's the question. One might surmise that the spirits that haunt us are simply our deepest fears. Manifested as apparitions. Shame. I've always wanted to see a ghost or a goblin. Hmm. I propose a toast to the Ghost Club and the virtuous twins that have aided it. Miss Evie and Cheers. Mr. Jacob. Cheers. 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 Yeah. That seems odd to me because I couldn't kill him. Was that the point that he was just a figment of my imagination? Like, I feel kind of cheated from that. Because I couldn't actually complete it. Unless there's one more... Um, one more mission, Dickens mission here. Now, we also got a new belt. Let's have a look at that real quick here. What was it? A cape? No. It's a gauntlet. There we go, yeah. Where is it? Spring, heel, jack. Chimera. No, it was a belt, right? Yeah. 
So where is it here then? What? There's a belt. Not a gauntlet. A firearm. Unless it was. No, it wasn't. It's not a cape. An outfit. Like, what the fuck, dude? Am I losing... Like, I saw in um, crafting... Right? There's belts in here. A <laughs> sassy assassin belt. <laughs> but how come this gear isn't show up in my regular gear? I I I don't get it. Okay, well. I don't see it here. This is really annoying. We just got this thing. But yeah, so then I go to inventory. Three new gear available. It says there's a cape. Are there belts under here? Maybe it's only if uh, for Jacob. Yo, because Jacob... Uh, is it... Because, I mean... See, shit like that's annoying to me. Killer's lace cloak. Oh well. Whatever. You know what? It is what it be. What are you going to do, right? Only play it once. I fully forget how things work. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, colors don't really matter. I don't think, really. Well, they kind of do. But they're not very... Obvious. Eh. Fuck it. Okay. Well, it is what it be, I suppose. Let's refill all of our stuff while we're here. Oh, dude, we're short. Okay. go there we go the stuff that matters yeah the outfits definitely matter absolutely okay well that is all of that uh, I think we're gonna sneak in a story mission here because we haven't done any story missions tonight we've been Doing all the side stuff. So, let's pop back here and see if there is one that we can take on from here. Before we wrap up the night. I still have one more work day before my long weekend. So, gotta be fresh and ready to go. Can the girlfriend here take a break from Assassin's Creed are doing C Cyberpunk? Okay. I think now would be a good time if you were ever wanting to do Cyberpunk. Now's a good time because they probably fixed almost all the bugs that it launched with, right? So hey, I've heard you get lost. In, you can get lost in that game. So I think that that sounds like a pretty cool, pretty cool option. I've never really had an interest in Cyberpunk at all, but I know the people who have uh, been into it. They're pretty excited for it. Yeah, run smooth now, right? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. All right, sequence six to eight. A run on the bank. Having uncovered her master plan, Jacob assassinated Pearl Attaway and recovered the internal combustion engines from the Templars. Now a mysterious letter leads Jacob to a plot that could put all of London's gold in jeopardy. While Evie forms a new plan to strike back at Lucy Thorne and reclaim the key to the Shroud of Evie. Get it. What have we here? Boiler, this dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was loitering around the exchange today, asking far too many questions about the bank. Should he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Yeesh. Signed, 
Plutus. So this Plutus is Plutus. Starek's banker, hmm? I wager Dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London transportation network. Don't <laughs> make me laugh. Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend on this city. I'm not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. A mistake I intend to rectify immediately. Yeah. Hmm. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. <laughs> Another one. Okay. So we have a couple of little missions here. Level 6 suggested. Level 5. Let's go for the easy one here. Let's get it done here. So, two, three minor bugs, nothing game breaking. All right, you had a massive game breaking bug. Star Wars Battlefront too easily. Why? What was the what was the bug that you experienced? I'm curious. We are right here. Oh. Hold on. No, we're not gonna do that one. I'm gonna go after the one that we already have out there. What was that? Oh, right, it's one of those. What the? No, 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 no. What's, what's this? Access souvenirs. Oh, fuck it. No. We're good. Yo, how do I get out of here, though? I just jump off, I guess. What? What? I didn't know. I I wasn't on an active mission. I was able to choose two missions. What? I'm confused. I'm confuzzled. Consternated. Shriver's whipped cream? That's a nice choice, Elizabeth. That's a very nice choice. So your class is an assault slash heavy. Go real high level. Okay. Sun plays a lot. Got a lot of abilities unlocked. Maxed out. So you're strong. Okay. Gotcha. I'm... Fuck, let's just fast travel here. I have no idea what happened or why. All I know is I went after the new missions that popped up, and as soon as I left the train, it's like, no! <laughs> Bad Cameron. <laughs> okay. So Edward Kenway was assassinated by Templars. Got it. We figured that would have happened. All right. Let's hope we can now go to the mission. Because, <laughs> yeah, we do need to wrap up the night here. Once again, not really any story missions here. But we got a lot done to increase our levels, which is good. And some of our equipment, too. That's going to set us up nicely for some good story stuff coming up soon. Really? I have to go this way? Damn it. You were the player with three friends on me. You lost all your unlock. Oh! Yo, that's tough, dude. Yeah. That's hard to go back to when you've spent so much time. That's... I get that. Couldn't EA uh, help you out at all with that? I would reach out to EA and see if they can do anything, because that's the bullshit. Soft lock level one. Ugh. Case of identity. Oh, we gotta switch back to Jacob? Okay. There's, I understand there's no fix, but can't EA do something for you, like, and, and patch a character or something? Have you reached out to them just to see? It might be worth a shot just to try. Because that's a lot of time to invest to get fucked over, bro. That's... oof. I'll take one. Here you go, sir. I say we stop this goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what London really needs. Solid leadership whose hard work will raise everyone up to success. As go the titans of business, so goes the world. Oh, oi! You weak fool. Get a job! 
Just so it can fill your factories and you treat them, treat them like shit, Best brother? God's money can buy. Won't do Mr. Dredge any good. <laughs> that kid's so mad at us. I don't blame him. Don't kill any policemen? Yeah, good luck with that. It's not me. It's not me. This is gonna be tough. Once again, I hate kidnapping missions. Well, I don't hate them, it's just, ah. Sir. Oh. Keep your eyes ahead of you and walk. This oh, cop. Come now. You are barking up the wrong tree, sir. Yeah, I know I gotta escape the area, brother. Oh, Jesus. Stupid pillock. I'll have you arrested. I... Oh. What? Yaha. The less you fight, the sooner you'll be released. Eyes front. Yeah. Nothing to be done about you had the bug happen? That sucks, dude. Dead waste of a game. Yo, what's good, Elstar? Good to see you, man. How goes everything? Keep your eyes ahead of you and walk. Ugh. Come now. You are barking up the wrong tree, sir. Are you calling me a dog, buddy? I'll take uh, kindly to that insinuation. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Do ya? Fry. Is that you? Fry! Look at this guy's eyes, man. Oh, it was glowing. I thought he had, like, glowing white eyes. That'd be creepy. How goes the packing, Elsa? How's your wrist doing? How's everything stupid doing, man? Pillock. How's... I'll have you arrested. I... Oh, I'm not Fry anymore. I'm a stupid pillock. The less you fight... The sooner you'll be released. Eyes front. There we go. Got him. Whew. So if you wanted to get that stuff back, you actually have to open another Jacob. profile, right? It's me, Sergeant Frederick Appeline. Freddy. Sergeant. Undercover. Oh. There's to be a robbery at the Bank of England, I'm sure of it. Robbery? It's a fortress. Mm, the boys at the station thought I was joking. Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind it? That's confidential. Oh, oh come on, Freddy. I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Abilene Wright all along. Well, <laughs> I suppose I can fill you in a little. Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. The thieves are supplied by Cockham merchants. Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant. And I, I, I'm keeping <laughs> my eye on you. No time to recover. That's, can you like get into a hot bath with Epsom salts or something just to help with the aching? All right. Well, glad we didn't kill any cops on that one. Yeah, dead to me now. Yeah, I feel that, man. I'm sorry that happened. That sucks. Look, ugh, just the thought of that. Okay, there should be a treasure chest right around here somewhere. Upstairs, maybe? On the roof? Gotta be, right? Go find out. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Hold on, my bad. Well, good thing it's uh, your 90 gigs of space. Oh man. Rough. Golden Lion King sword? That sounds pretty sweet. Okay, that went really fast. Let's see if we sneak in one more before we wrap up the night. That was really fast. 
A spot of tea? Would you like a spot of tea? Could go for a spot of tea. So, uh, one good deed, it's level 6. This is also level 6, right? Or level 5. Yeah, let's hit that up, and then we'll wrap up the night. Fast travel! Okay, you only paid 12 bucks. I mean, at least you don't lose a lot of money. Unfortunately, it was a lot of time that you lost, right? That's the, su that's the sucky part. Oh, man. Fire engine were driven at the fastest pace possible, 10 miles an hour. The fire is within a few miles. If it was a few miles further, the horses would tire and have to be... Oh, man, that would suck. So, Elsar, it must be really weird for you right now, just with boxes and stuff, man. I can't imagine what that's like for you. Are you kind of like moving stuff? Do you, are, are you going to have movers help you at all? Um, or are you guys just kind of packing up like a big U-Haul on your own and moving that over the ferries? Like, what's the, the strategy there, if you don't mind me asking? So, love the game when you found what happens, Crush. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be crushed too. Hello, good sir. I have a little bit more money now. There we go. Walls for doing it. Yeah, I remember the art that he had up on the walls too. All right, here we are. A little bit of spot of tea before we wrap up. Not yet. I love how people in the water are just wide open, man. No life jackets, nothing. People didn't give a flying flip. <laughs> oh, that's a big boy jump. Woo! That worked out nicely. Movers will help on the day. Okay, gotcha. Two days to move. Excuse me, sir. Now, if you don't mind me asking, the place that you're moving to, is it similar in, in size? Like, do you have the same type of uh, place where you're going to be able to have all the rooms that you want and, and things like that? Or was it a bit of a downsize or an upgrade or, or what? If you don't mind me asking. You'll have to answer if you don't want to. Or, you know, we can always talk, chat and DM if you want to go into details. You have to, oh, dude, painting? Ugh. Well, you're an artist, but that's still probably going to fuck with your wrist, too. Ugh. The thought of painting just ugh. If only I knew which shipment it was. And I could trace the weapons to their owner. Let's find out. Little idea, Freddy. Alright. Here we are, the shipping docks. Now where are the cotton crates intended for Mr. Plutus? Plutus? Locate the smuggled cock and weapons. Move it. Let's go find out, shall we? It's an upgrade and a downgrade at the same time. No more tenants, yeah. So you don't have to worry about that stuff. Uh, is it multi-level or is it like a rancher? Or... All right, let's uh, kind of go up top here. Better view. I think so. That's a better call. No, I just want to jump on this thing. Thank you. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh. So level nine, that's like a super tough guy there. Can I assassinate from the top? There we go. No more level nine. And let's pop back up. Simple as that. Boom! Headshot. Hey, we need two more. Then we upgrade something. Let's do two more headshots. Headshots are fun. Stop moving. Damn it. Oh, no headshot. Oh, hold on. And pop. Shit. Ah! You didn't see me. You didn't see me. I'm John Cena. You can't see me. Oh, yeah. Your buddy got fucked up, bro. 
What? Damn it. There's another headshot. Could I move? Like, Jacob, could you? Oof. What's up, buddy? Is that a headshot? I don't know. He's dead, though. <laughs> Alright, well, let's... let's... See if we get our knives back first before it causes more problems. Two floors. A lot more space. Have no furniture until end of June. I have a bed, though. I hope so. I would have a spot for uh, backup. That's probably going to add, like, a challenge for you guys. With high energy backup, it's going through all of this stuff right now, right? That's so what you used to love to paint walls and stuff? Oh, yeah. I for, I don't mind painting for a short little bit, but then I'm, I'm kind of like, ugh. <laughs> not, too, not too into it. Hello. Oh, we got him first try. I think we're going to steal this. Arm. Oh, never mind. And now to wait for the crates to be retrieved. Time to hide. Sit on recline. Step probably gave you, so it's good. Right on. Yo, what's good, Hassan, over on Rumble? How you doing, man? Good to see ya. Okay, so shame I can't stop in for a pint. Oh shit! Okay, we gotta find what's going on here. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Damn it! Fog. I hope I can L1 that. There we go. The other ones, um, you yeah, have like possessed or something. That's weird. A possessed recliner? <laughs> Dude, keeping up with this thing is a challenge. Dude, this is going to be a shitty mission, man. So many of those. Oh, that'd be crazy, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I know. I've seen similar ones, Elizabeth, before. Yeah. Okay, so I got to get there a lot faster. Yeah, get good, kid. <laughs> Hit your shots, kid. <laughs> oh, it's all good, Sal. It's, it's all good, man. <laughs> Templar Grandmaster Jacques de Malay is burned at the stake, forcing the order to go underground. 1314. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Man, I feel bad because right now I. I... Okay, hold on. Any mistake will cost you dearly. Keep your knickers on. We hear you. Good, because I ain't for feeding myself. It's a shame I can't stop in for a pint. Oh, the tar So I have to tail it. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So I actually shouldn't have done that. My bad. Okay. Sharpen the blades. I feel bad, uh, because... As you guys know, I like to, uh... Interact with you guys in chat, right? I make a very valiant effort to do that. Um, and so on Rumble, which is one of the, the places we stream, the chat is, doesn't integrate with Restream right now, unfortunately, right? So I have a separate chat window, and I've done my best to put it beside my regular Restreams for, for everything else, and I missed it. So I reached out to Hassan there, he's like, hey, how's it going? And I, I feel like he's probably popped out already, I missed it, which sucks because, like, I always try and, and address you guys when you're in chat saying hi to me, so I feel bad about that. Oh, hi. There goes your gun. 
There we go. Now I know what we're doing. How I approach the next games mechanics since they're very different. Are they different from this one? Because this one was easy to pick up. There we go. I bet Greenie's tailing Evie right about now. Good luck. Here we go. Up we go. See, I don't know why, because this game is like, the mechanics are great. Probably because there's way more RPG elements or something. I don't know. Shit, I gotta get a visual on this quick. Oh, dude, we're dying again. Oh, we just made it. Holy shit. How do we do that? We just made that. So where are we gonna go here? So they're all talking, whatever. Maybe we saw basically resign the wheel, the origins? Okay. Well, I mean, the wheel seemed to work fine. Like when they were using it originally, so. Don't mind me, sir. Ah oh, yes. Lead me to Mr. Plutus. Guy's name is Plutus, that sounds funny. I don't know why. Ugh. This is tough, actually. Like, all these are so hard to fucking climb. We're making it though, little by little here. Oh, God. Yeah, I know he's too far away, damn it. No! Fuck. Okay, at least we're not... Uh, we haven't... We've lost time. So that's fine. Yeah, wee! Oh, oh, da, oh, da, oh, da, wee! Wee! Oh, my God. Stop it. I saw that. Let's go. I'm trying, man. <sighs> this one's frustrating. I ain't gonna lie. I'm frustrated. And we start have to start at the very beginning. Like, that's gonna suck, dude. Ah! I hate trailing missions in every Assassin's Creed game. Any game. Tailing missions suck. They are not fun. They're frustrating. They're, they, they, oh, they make me anxious, like, ah, damn it. Ah, oh, jeez. Damn it, Jacob, what are you doing? Now I'm really curious to see how that works, Stealthy. Hopefully I can pick it up as easy as I did the weapon, like the weapon wheel in um, the Ezio Trilogy. Special blend. Pleasure doing business with Markham merchants. I'm just waiting for him to move on. What is AC though? Assassin's Creed. Oh, it's. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's what AC is though, yeah.
No. You've got to be shitting me, man. You've got to be shitting me. Right when I have to. Like, buddy, we're already so far behind. It is so hard to fucking keep up with this guy. It's so hard to keep up with him. Now, this side sucks. I'm not going this side anymore. I'm going this side. Plus, I think he turns right anyway. So let's get this. Up the Harvey building. I do think we're doing a bit better than last time here. No, it goes away! Oh no! Go, 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 go! Like... I fucking hate this. This is like so dumb. No, I, well, I have to keep him in vision. And the thing is, I don't even know where the destination is. Yet. I have to, basically, as I repeat this, I have to find, I have to memorize his route, and I have to optimize my L1s. The tough part, the shitty thing about this game, it's not shitty, but I've said before, the first, one of the frustrations I have is I can't, just hit L1 whenever I want. It has to actually prompt me to press L1. So if I don't look at the right spot or whatnot, L1 doesn't doesn't pop. So. All right, Ezio, thanks for being here, man. Uh, it's been a pleasure as always. You have a great sleep. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to you when we see you next, okay? You take care, my friend. So now that I kind of have a better idea of where we're going here. They're having their little talk. I'm going over here. See, because as long as they're in vision there, he goes around there. Then he comes back around and goes this way. Right? Templars. So... So there he goes. Let's see if I can get away with because he's gonna turn left. And he goes down this way. Ah yes. Lead me to Mr. Plutus. Up. See there, I just looked at him there, that resets the timer. So I kind of have to chill him like where I can see him. But now we're kind of right with him now. I don't know. You know, I think, yeah, it would be too close. I like the idea, oh, sir. Fuck off. And then once he goes up here, he turns left. So, we just got to be aware of that. Okay, get off. Hit that. There we go. See, I'm missing that L1. Right there. Fuck. Go! Ah! 
We did. We've done so well until we get here. L1, L1, L1. It won't go. Oh my god, no! There we go. Fuck. Okay, I think we we did it. But man, was that. Uh. Like, the way some of these roofs are set up, man, they're so frustrating. Okay, thank God we didn't lose it. Woo! Weapons are here. Same oh, my God. As before. The okay. Tiffany opens a vault, we robs it, and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. Here we go. The Bank of England. Yeah. There we go. Spot T. There we go. Now. Plutus is twopenny. He sure is. <laughs> All right. Next episode on this, my friends, we're going to be doing a lot more story missions. Um, but as I said, this was like the double D episode. Charles Dickens. Right. And Charles Darwin. Two Charles. The old friends. Let's get their word, friends. Pretty damn fun. <laughs> My friends, have a fantastic Thursday tomorrow. And I uh, can't wait to see you guys Friday. Until that happens, stay healthy, stay safe. Go give someone a high five, and we'll see you all on the next one. Appreciate you. Take care.